Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Christmas Inspirations. I'm your host, Al Smith, the founder and director of Bishop Sheen Today. Today, we will again explore some of these timely meditations found in Bishop Sheen's 1966 book, Christmas Inspirations. And today's reflection is entitled, Christmas, the Mother Resembles the Child. Bishop Sheen writes, Whenever a child is born into the world, relatives speculate whether or not it resembles the father or the mother. Christmas was the first instance in history that anyone could say that the resemblance was only on the mother's side. But it is perhaps truer to say that it was not the child who resembled the mother, but the mother who resembled the child. For this is the child who made his mother. He pre-existed her. She was created by him. Therefore, it was she who was the child. When the great painter Whistler was praised for the beautiful painting of his mother, he said, you know how it is. One tries to make one's mother as nice as one can. Since Christ pre-existed her, he made her beautiful as only God knows how to make a woman beautiful. There was a further paradox in Christmas too. Mothers often tell their children when pointing to the sky, heaven is way up there. But when Mary held the child in her arms, it is true to say that she looked down to heaven. I love how Bishop Sheen chooses his words to point us to heaven. And again, we see this great love he had in making his own mother. And he gives Mary to us as our mother. And so we are blessed. I pray that these meditations are finding a very special place in your heart. And I'd ask you to share them with your friends. And so everyone, until next time, may the Lord continue to bless you and keep you. May the Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord look upon you kindly and bring you peace. God love you.